An unexpected outcome uh, last Friday. Uh, I know you guys weren't happy with it, but how do you refocus now? Or given what's at stake, is it easy to refocus now? Um, maybe last week we were a little complacent, and the coaches do a good job of getting on us and getting us refocused. And um, we, our goal is a conference championship, obviously, and it's right in front of us. And as long as we work hard and do what we need to do, I think, that, I think we can accomplish that. I know all season long the coaches always preach just worry about you know, yourselves, go out and do what you have to do, and now you guys are in a position where you control your own destiny. Is this what you've played for all season? Yeah, I mean, I think that's an ultimate goal to be able to control what you want to do in the long run, and that's where we're at right now, and as long as we play our game, I think we could win Friday. This program has been so close uh, to that conference title the last few years. What would it mean to win it outright with a win against Homestead uh, on Friday? Yeah, Homestead's been really good in the past few years, obviously, and it's hard to watch, like, last year, the upperclassmen and everything, them being so close, 7-0 like we were, and then it just slip out from underneath of them. But we want to but we want to finish out strong and do what they unfortunately couldn't do last year. What's it going to take? Um, just to trust the person next to you that we're going to get it done and that, I mean, just put points on the board and stop people from scoring. That's, that's all, really. Certainly uh, an, an uncharacteristic offensive performance for you guys last week. Uh, what are, are there any corrections that you need to make this week, or is it just a matter of, you know, uh, East Noble had your guys' number that night? Um, I, won't, I don't want to say they had our number, but they played really well. I mean, we didn't play to the best of our ability. I mean, correcting small things, but nothing really big. I just think we didn't have our best game last week. I was going to say, at this point in the season, are you guys pretty tuned in uh, to, to when things are clicking and when things are not clicking? Yeah, last week, I mean, like I said, it didn't go as well as we thought, but I'm, so far everything's been clicking pretty well. It's just hopefully it'll be on the same page as it was the first few weeks this week. Overall, I know the, the hope is to be uh, peaking or pretty close to peaking by week nine, heading into the postseason. Do you guys feel like you're at or near that point? I think we are. I think last week was kind of a wake-up call because we may have been getting kind of complacent, mm -hmm. but I, now we're fired up and just ready to get a win in conference championship. Long term, do you think a loss like that uh, can actually be a good thing if you guys can take it and learn from it? Possibly. I mean, losses aren't always fun, but I, that's what they always say. I mean, it could have fired us up and, and, got, us, and got us refocused. And then finally, uh, w what can you just say about the, uh, the rivalry between Homestead and New Haven, what it's meant to this conference over the years? They're a good team. They're always really well, and it's always fun to beat Homestead because they're always really well. And I, I, really, I mean, excuse me, really good. But, but this week we have a good chance to beat them, I believe.